A secondary component in managing your attack surface is being able to investigate threats. Risk IQ passive total allows you to do that. And by being able to investigate threats, you're able to scale out your threat hunting program, automate your security operations, and improve your incident response efforts. Oftentimes, an investigation starts with something that's suspicious or unknown. In this particular case, dl2.onedrive-us-en.com has been seen maybe within our network. Using our analyst insights right, at, right up top, we're able to ascertain that this particular domain is resolving to an IP address that's blacklisted. Additionally, there's been new subdomains added 11 days ago. The domain's been registered, resolves to an IP, isn't part of the Alexa Top 100,000, and has, 500, uh, has several hundred domains that also share the same who is record and several hundred domains that share the same name server record. Finally, RiskIQ had crawled this information in page about four months ago. Directly below this, we have a visual that gives us an understanding of the last six months of the domain and how active it's been. In this particular case, it's been resolving to 0.0.0.0, which could mean that it's parked. And directly below that, we have a time bar here that gives us an indication of how long this infrastructure has been around, about a year. Finally, we have different data sets that RiskIQ has been collecting for over the past 10 years, and we display those to the analyst in a way that they can filter it or they can pivot on the data. Walking through each one of these tabs, we can start to understand more about this infrastructure, finding related infrastructure, and conducting a full investigation. Starting on the tab on the left, we have our resolutions, which is passive DNS information. We have a who is record here, which shows some suspicious activity, particularly around the email address. We have SSL certificate observations, which show us when and what those were used in registration. In this particular case, Let's Encrypt was leveraged. We have subdomains, trackers. These are things that we extract from when we crawl a page. Components, these are derived from our crawling and from our internet scanning efforts, and host pairs, relationships that we identify when we dynamically crawl. Finally, we have more traditional data sets like open source intelligence, hashes, DNS, passive total projects, and cookies. Not all these data sets will be filled in, but more often than not, just having a few of them is enough to be able to make connections. Earlier when we were looking at the who is tab, I made note of this particular email address who is dash protect at hotmail.com. If I click on that, much like any other indicator in the passive total platform, what it's gonna do is perform a search for any of the other domains that have been observed being registered with this particular hotmail address. And we can see here that there's 551 with 2000 in history. As an analyst, I might wanna page through these results and start to understand if any of them have been seen as phishing. Right away, we can see these tags here indicating that this a express logintop page has been used in phishing. We can also observe that there's other pages that look similar and scammy in nature and therefore might be something that we want to explore further. As an analyst, I will go through and investigate this as much as possible using the data that RiskIQ provides to me. What's nice about having this data is that I can do this in a proactive manner. I don't have to wait for a threat. I can go and investigate open source intelligence, or any other indicator that shows up on my network. Additionally, using APIs and automation, I can actually take all of this data available to me and work it within my security operations center. Finally, when performing incident response, I know that I have enough data available and on hand to make a decision and find all the different associations available to me, giving me confidence that the breach is fully contained. So thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information about RiskIQ products and services, please email sales at riskiq.com or consider joining our community at community.riskiq.com. Thank you.